All right, just making my way to Jetstream Custom Auto. My friend Jason runs this business and we've done a lot of cars together. He does awesome, awesome paint bodies, some of the best in the area. And they're finishing up an Austin Healey 104 for a mutual customer that came in two years ago. And I'll show you some footage of what that looks like. It was completely derelict, untouched since the 60s. And it had a massive rear ender. And Jason basically put together two cars of one and there was a lot of original rust-free parts on this car that you just don't see anymore. Like the front grille, for instance. And yeah, so here it is. Just arrived at his place. Uh, gotta find a way in, but uh, let's see what this car looks like because he's just probably pushing it to get it ready for the show tomorrow. Holy, look at this. Wow, that looks great, man. Good job. You gotta see Jeff's interior here. Wow. Holy. Can you believe this is the same car? I have the footage <laughs> of you guys ripping the back end oh, off. No way. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Well, that looks amazing, Jason. Good work. Holy. Wow, look at that. Wonderful. Really digging that. Yeah, it's just down to the wire now. I should have her uh, try to get buttoned up today. And hopefully it doesn't rain. I can drive the shit out of it and um, off the Van Dusen yeah. Saturday. What time are you guys meeting? 5.30 at the ferry. Okay. Look at this Sirocco F1 car he has in. Ooh. Holy <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Little V8 back there. Yeah. Isn't it five Oldsmobile. It's a Sirocco F1. I think it's one of three, three Siroccos ever made. Yep. Wonderful. Okay, cool. We'll see you at the show, man. Okay. Right on. All right, guys. Trying to get this car ready for the show tomorrow, and it will not start. Uh, the starter solenoid does not click. I'll show you what I mean. Uh, here we go. Ignition on. Lights are on. Everything's looking good. Chokes on. I When I push the starter, though, I can hear the starter relay in here clicking. It's kind of ghetto wired in there. And even, if I, and even if I manually bridge the two, it doesn't start. So my idea here next, and just start fiddling with the wiring at the starter solenoid. All right, I changed out the battery, had a look at the starter relay. None of those were to blame. I did nothing except for push the button maybe a hundred times, and on the hundredth time it started, which really has me concerned because I think it's the starter solenoid. I'll show you where that is. Look at that. You have to go down in behind the carburetors there and there's the starter solenoid. It's totally unserviceable in that area and uh, if this car for some reason when we go to the show tomorrow doesn't start because of that solenoid I'm gonna have to get it towed. But yeah let's see if it'll start right now. great yeah can't say I'm really enjoying the automatic in this e-type right now I put it in park and have a listen to the transmission torque converter okay well change of plan turns out that e-type that I wanted to take to the Van Dusen car show wasn't up to the task, the torque converter was screaming. That car unfortunately is not going to the show today. Instead I'm going to be going to Jetstream, I'm going to be trialing with Jason. You saw him earlier with that beautiful Austin Healey 104 and his wife Tina. And hopefully follow them on their way to Van Dusen and we'll see what that journey's like. It's a little different than I expected, but hey, you never know with these things. Classic cars, you never know what you're going to get. Everybody, this is Matt. He's putting on the finishing touches on the Healy. Look at this. Oh, amazing. Yeah, look at this soft top, or hood as you guys would say in England. Love the external hinges. Wow, it's beautiful. The Hydem and everything, holy. Yeah, we're 
we're getting ready to go to the ferry. Riding with Tina today, this morning, in her bug eye. Heading to Swartz Bay, gonna take a huge ship across the Strait of Georgia over to Delta and through to Vancouver. Yeah, going on the Coastal Celebration Ferry there. This thing has two decks that take cars, it's a massive ship. Little Tyson's joining us. Has a seat of his own in the bug eye. Look at that. Look at that. Amazing. We've got to. Jaguar E display here. Ooh, look at the black one. Look at the black one. Wow. Oh, yeah. Let's see that. So, yeah. There it is. The child seat right there. Child seat. You know? 
And uh, you can do the trunk. Uh, there's an aftermarket kit to cut the trunk open. I have another bug eye with that in it already. Oh, holy. And then, yeah, there's another picture of that. Uh, oh, that looks good, Jason. Wow. So, yeah. Oh, you see the little bracketry. So it goes yeah, the, that just slips tunnel. right over the trans tunnel. Oh, wow. And there's another picture of one. And I just uh, scaled it out. So it's pretty close. But I whipped it up pretty quick. It looks great. And, uh, yeah. Three seat WTF. bug eye. WTF. Is that legal? <laughs> Apparently it is. It checked. As long as there's no airbag in the car, you know. I thought maybe you get uh, yes, the match set of BN2s, black with persimmon interior. Look at that. With the azalea in bloom. Loving that. Hi guys. Wow, look at that. There it is in the sun. Holy. Oh, that paint finish. Wow. Well, it just looks like that because the body is lower than the mud. Yeah, loving this interior by my friend Jeff, Right Way Heritage Trimming. This is a really special color called persimmon. It kind of has an orangey tint to it, and some of the aspects are red, and some are kind of this orangey color. This is absolutely correct. And it just pops on the black paint, doesn't it? Loving that. This is cool. My dad was just saying this is an original factory color on this Morris Minor. That's a million. So what's it called? A million? Yeah, Morris Minor Million. Morris Minor Million. Look at that. Six zeros. Really? Wow, looks great. Neato, never seen one of those before, right on. Got a police version next to it too. Wow, great. It's my sister checking out her Lotus Europa that we saw driving up. Looking good. It's right next to actually a late model twin cam special. You can see the headlights are a lot higher, the fenders actually peak up a little bit more. Another main difference is the kick down right here. It, it kind of has a notch in the van line there.
All right, here's a Healy we restored two years ago. And if anybody's seen my previous videos, you saw this aluminum cylinder head sitting on our front bench. And here it is installed in this car. Kind of painted it green so it kind of matches. But man, does it does this paint job look good sparkling in the sun? Holy, get a load of this. And if you look real close, there's a Danish Welsh tag down in there. I mean, you can do what you want, but I sort of Pretty amazing upgrade. The reason why I like aluminum cylinder heads on the Healy, less weight up top of the engine, better thermodynamics, and way better flow. They really worked on the flow of this cylinder head. Oh man, I love this engine bay in the sun. Look at this. What a treat. Whatever you're comfortable with. Yeah. And it makes it go. May as well continue the tour. You can see the beautiful interior in this car. Yeah, loving this. And the field of dreams in behind here. Look at this action. All right, got a lot of great pre war cars here today. Just got on the line. Look at this beautiful Bentley with an original sporting body. Loving that. Another three liter speed tourer. Loving that. Big old Rolls Phantom One. Look at that. Loving that. Another Bentley. Jeez, the Bentley numbers are great. And a Riley sitting in the middle here. Another big roller. But it's this Vauxhall that has my heart. Look at this Vauxhall. Wow. Two tone. Excuse me. Look at this. Kind of a bow tail speedster. Let's see. 1930 Vauxhall Hurlingham. Wow. Look at that. The, back, the seat back there with its own windscreen. Wow. Look at the rear end. How cool is that? Best of show, probably. Holy. Interior here. Wow, I love this line along the hood. Isn't that incredible? And the radiator mascot. Yeah, these cars were really special in their day. What a neat looking Vauxhall. Yeah, congrats to Steve Harris. Wow, it's a debuting restoration. Looks just fabulous. Love these knobbly tires that say Lucas on them. Wow. Pretty cool. That starburst interior there. What a machine. Very different from this thing. Wow. Big steering wheel with probably some uh, carburetor controls. Wow. Very cool car. Yeah, got a lot of E-types here this year. Many with some hoods up. Uh, let's see what we can find. I'll show you one of my friend's cars, Simon Scott. He restored this beautiful 2 Plus 2 Series 1. And he is the man when it comes to these 2 Plus 2s. He knows everything about them. Look at that presentation there. Lighten it up for you. Isn't that amazing? Look at the paint under the hood. Everything about this car is wonderful. It's lovely, Simon. Love it. <laughs> Look at that. Just doing a tour of the E-Types. This is Black Series 1 with red interior. Loving that. What else do we got? What else we got? Sea of Dreams here. It's a 62 E-Type. Same color as mine. 62? Oh, I gotta check that out. Nice Series 2 fixed head here. Ribbed cam covers. See the seats with the perforated leather there? There's Jonathan Parker and his wonderful, wonderful early coupe. 
Ooh, I love this mint uh, series three. That's cool. More E-types hiding now, even all the way up here. Yeah, big E-type showing this year. Holy. How about the Series 1 Coupe in blue? Beautiful lines. Uh, E-type up from Washington. Looks like a 4.2 liter Roadster. Uh, but it's this early coupe that is just the most amazing piece. Have a look at this. Restored at RX. It's uh, absolutely wonderful. Everything about this car, the paint, the presentation. It's restored by my friend Rob Fram at RX. And they do top level work. They won Pebble Beach last year, so you can. This is a show winning presentation. Love all the details, all the plated hardware. Have a look here. Yeah, it is. If it was just softer, or a little bit. I'll make you something up, John. And this. Yeah, E tapes look so good in profile. Check this out. Everything nice and open. Loving it. Here's the XK120 that basically won best of show last year. Beautiful gray color combination. Look at the wood. Doesn't that melt your heart? Look at that color combo. Isn't that wonderful? Look at the engine bay here. Just love this car. 1953 drop head. Wow. Still loving this. I think we saw the silver one roll in. Beautiful elegant lines. Got a C-type head on here. Painted red in the valley. This is an XK140 drop head. Similar to the 120. Look at the woodwork in there. Isn't that lovely? Here's a, I think, a Victoria car. I've seen it many times. Another 140. This time a Roadster. Two Roadsters, actually. And a coupe on the end. Oh, we got some big boys bound down there. We got to check those out. Four twenty G. Let's go look at these big saloons down here. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Looks like a Mark Ten. These guys are checking out. I have a soft spot for these Mark 10s. Here it is, it's a 1964 Mark 10, totally unrestored. There we're, now the, here we go, now we're talking. Look at this. Wow. Okay, I'll take this one. Manual transmission too. Oh, wow. Have a look at this. Manual transmission is extremely rare. Oh, wow, doesn't that look amazing? Unrestored. Smells good even from outside here. Wow. Aston Martin DB24 Mark III. I just love the way these look, the way the grill is and everything. Loving this. Wonderful, beautiful fastback design. Yeah, my favorite Aston here for sure. Very cool Land Rover here. I think Robert Bateman and one of his friends traveled the entire world in this very car. You can see he did uh, drawings on the side of it based on where they went in the world. Super clean restoration. Have a look in here. Yeah, wow. Very, very neat Land Rover.
Just a simple bed in there. Come on, okay, this is our uh, class. Fifty to a hundred thousand dollars. Doesn't go far these days. Uh, the winner uh, of this category, um, the car was entered by Jason Stotch, the, the restorer. The car belongs to a Mr. Chisholm. Uh, and he told me today that it's the first time that he's seen the car since the restoration's been completed. So that was wonderful. And it's a magnificent black 1954 Austin Healy. So congratulations. Woo! All right, look at that. One best debuting restoration, 50 to 100,000. Just bloody brilliant work done by Jason at Jetstream and Jeff Chrysler, Rightway Heritage Trimming. It's a testament to their great work. They did both these cars actually. And yeah, so with that, I'm gonna end this video. That's it for me at Van Dusen 2019. As always, everybody, thanks for watching. Yeah, if you have any uh, comments about any of the cars we saw, you wanna know more, feel free to leave a comment. Love to hear from you guys. Okay, see you later. Bye-bye.